Hi, my name is Mrs. Alzinga. I'm with the Ottawa County Department of Public Health, and I'm here to refresh your memory on oral health and offer a program to all seventh graders at your school. Oral health is the practice of taking care of your teeth and your gums to maintain a happy, healthy environment. Very important to remember it's about your gums as well, not just your teeth. And to remember that the mouth is the window to the health of your body. Other illnesses and diseases can be discovered through your mouth. And just remember that oral health is important whether you're eight years old or 80 years old. And some things that you can do at home to keep your teeth healthy, keep your mouth healthy, brushing morning and night for two minutes. You wanna spend a minute on the top and a minute on the bottom. Take your time. Don't, it's not a race. Make sure you're using a timer. If you're not using a timer, I'm confident you're not brushing long enough. You wanna change your toothbrush every season. So every three months, you wanna change your toothbrush. Summer rolls around, get a new toothbrush. Fall rolls around, get a new toothbrush. Otherwise, they wear out and they're not as effective. You wanna floss daily. Flossing is what helps protect your gums, keep your gums healthy. You'll pull out the plaque that lives underneath the gums. Um, mouth rinse you wanna use, that helps remove any loose debris. And then a mouth rinse with fluoride in it, it will help protect your teeth. Fluoride is a vitamin for your teeth and that will make your teeth stronger. Eating your healthy foods, of course, your fruits, your vegetables, your cheese, your nuts your milk, which is good for your body. You just don't want to sip on that all day long. And then you want to visit your dentist twice a year. We recommend twice a year, but if you can only do once a year, we're okay with that. We just need someone to check them out because not everything has pain, so you don't always know there's something in there like a cavity. By sticking to a home care routine, you can help prevent cavities. And I'm pretty sure you all know what cavities are. Cavities are when the tooth starts to break down or the outer surface of your tooth starts to break down, which is called your enamel. It's the white part. It's what you see when you smile and when you talk. That is the strongest substance in your body. So it's kind of crazy to think about what pop and things like that can do to your teeth. Um, plaque causes cavities. There's a lot of bacteria in the plaque or in the sugar bugs, leaving that on your teeth. It's going to form acids when you eat and the acid will break your teeth down and weaken the teeth. All of your teeth can get cavities. It's not just your back teeth. It's not just your in between your teeth. Anywhere on any teeth can get cavities. Important to understand that. But also important to understand that your molars in the back have rough surfaces and that's the first place that you're most likely to get a cavity because the food sticks down in those deep grooves and those deep pits. You could be the best brusher in the world and you're still going to get cavities in those teeth if you're eating crackers and chips and things like that that stick down in those deep pits and those deep grooves. Got some pictures here um, to show you that cavities can happen in between the teeth, on the front sides of the teeth. They can be really large, they can be really small. It just kind of provides a variety for you. And your sugary drinks. This is great for kids your age because I'm sure you all love them. I know I did when I was your age. Pop, juice, Gatorade, your sports drinks like uh, Powerade, any Capri Suns, things like that. All of those are full of tons of sugar. Pop is very acidic, and if you just heard me say, acid breaks down the teeth. Um, every time you take a sip of pop, you have a 20 to 30 minute acid attack. Leaving that on there all day long is going to just soak your teeth in acid, uh, which will break your teeth down much quicker. Um, you don't wanna sip on pop all day long, and I don't want you to drink it every single day. It's a special treat, and you wanna try to drink it with a meal or drink it within 30 minutes. So when you're done with your lunch, you're done with your dinner, Take care of your plates and your silverware. Take care of your cup as well. Don't come back and sip on it. Never open a pop at 10 o'clock in the morning and finish it at seven o'clock at night. Otherwise you're just sipping or you're bathing your teeth in that acid all day long. Braces is another good thing for kids your age uh, to understand and to learn about, to know how to take care of them. Braces are much more difficult to care for because food and plaque likes to stick on and around the brackets. So you have to work a lot harder to take care of your teeth with braces on them. A lot of tricky areas to get. So you want to limit your sticky foods. You want to avoid the sugary drinks way more with braces. And you want to use other tools to take care of the teeth on top of brushing three times a day if you can for the two minutes each time. Your other tools that you want to use are flossing. You want to use floss threaders, which you can ask your dentist or your orthodontist. They can teach you on how to use this tool. It is a little bit trickier with the braces. And then uh, your interproximal brush, which is called the Christmas tree brush, if you're familiar with that. Hopefully your orthodontist or your dentist has taught you about that. If not, be sure to ask them at your next appointment. This is really good to get food off from around the brackets and in between the teeth. And then a water pick is a high pressured water that will actually help flush the water out from in between the teeth and around the brackets. Your goal while you have braces on is to avoid something that's called demineralization. And demineralization is white spots on your teeth, which is weakened enamel. And you'll see in the next picture here to have a better understanding of what I'm talking about. 
You can see in the other picture, there's a ton of plaque on that person's teeth. You can see the gums are very swollen because again, oral health is about your gums as well. And the gums are known to swell up if you're not taking care of them when you have braces on. And then you can see in the other picture there, the white spots where the brackets once were. You can see exactly where they were. You don't wanna put all this time and money into these braces. Get your braces off and then, hey, you can tell that person had braces because the squares are there. Something else that's important to understand is gum health. Remember, it's not just about your teeth, but also about your gums. It, gingivitis is inflammation of the gum tissue, which means they're red, they're puffy, they might be sore. You might not even know that you have gingivitis until you go and get your teeth cleaned. If your gums are bleeding when you're brushing, then that means you have some sort of inflammation in there. This is something that you can fix at home with regular brushing and regular flossing. Periodontal disease is something a little bit more serious. Generally, it's found in adults, but I like to teach young kids about it so you can avoid it when, you're, when you get older. Periodontal disease affects the bone and other supporting tissue. It's not just your gums that hold your teeth in, but it's also the bone. If you don't keep the gums healthy, the bone doesn't want to be around this inflammation, so the bone will shrink away from the teeth. Once you lose bone, you can't ever get it back. That's what holds your teeth in, so you want to keep your bone healthy. So basically, keep your tissue healthy, you'll keep your bone healthy, you'll keep your teeth for a lifetime. Something that I can offer you to help protect your adult molars are sealants. Sealants are a white plastic material that we paint in the adult molars in the grooves in those deep pits, those deep areas I was talking about where you're first most likely to get a cavity. I put this material in there, hardens in there, and then the plaque and the bacteria can't get down into those deep pits and those deep grooves. So sealants are very easily placed um, for this program in particular. They'll be done by me. Um, they, all I do is clean the tooth off, dry the tooth off, uh, I put this blue shampoo on there, it takes about 30 seconds to clean the tooth off with this, rinse and dry, paint the sealant material on, and I use a special light to harden it. it takes about a minute or two per tooth, does not hurt. Very important to remember they are painless, there are no shots involved, I can't even give shots to kids so you cannot get any. Um, and they're very, very easily placed. I compare it to painting fingernails. Obviously, I'm not going to use nail polish in your mouth. I'm using dental materials in your mouth. They are super easy to place. So something I can help you do is offer you those sealants through a program called Seal Michigan. Seal Michigan is a, a no-cost dental program for all second, sixth, and seventh grade students. Uh, it provides oral health education, which you're getting through this presentation. You'll get one-on-one -on -one oral health education with me if you sign up. You'll get your free toothbrush, your free sealants, your fluoride, and your prize for having your teeth checked. And you also get a prize for returning your consent form. And the program takes place during school, at your school, so your parents don't have to drive you anywhere. So how you can sign up for the SEAL Michigan Dental Program is by returning the blue consent form that you should receive today from your teacher. You want to have your, take that home, have your mom, dad, or guardian fill this out, sign it, return it to the same teacher that you got it from. You'll receive a pen for uh, returning that form. Even if you signed up as a sixth grader, you can still sign up as a seventh grader. Not all sixth graders have their second molars, so hopefully by seventh grade, I'll see more second molars, so you can still sign up. Um, if you have a dentist, you can still sign up. Not all dentists choose to place sealants, and not all parents choose to get sealants on their teeth because they are expensive. They do cost about $50 a tooth in a dental office. And if for some odd reason your parents don't want to sign you up for the program, you can still earn a pen by having your parents write your first and last name on the form, have them sign it, and write no thank you and give it to your teacher. And something else I have to offer you is who wants a pizza party? I'm sure you all do. Only one seventh grade class can win this pizza party. It's the first class that has every single student in the hour that you're in right now return every single consent form. The first class that does that returns the folder into the front office will receive a pizza party from me. And also the teacher will receive a gift card for whoever has the most consent forms or the highest percentage of consent forms returned. So now that you know what the program offers, you can sign up. It is, your parents don't have to send any money. They don't have to drive you anywhere. It takes place during school. It's at your school. If you signed up as a sixth grader, you can sign up again as a seventh grader. If you have a dentist, you can still sign up. Important to remember, it doesn't hurt. There are no shots. It's very easy and it will help you in the long run. Thank you.